What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the JR Hangar. Today we got a great video talking all about Tesla stock, some price predictions, the value of the option that I bought a couple weeks ago, battery day coming up. It's gonna be a crazy week for Tesla stock. That's why I wanted to post this video today before the market's open tomorrow on Monday. So sorry for the late upload, but it's gonna be a good one. So uh, as we wiggle our way over to the Rolls Royce here, we got the Lamborghini, the I don't think you guys have seen this one on the channel before. Last video we had a little bit of echo going on in the hangar, so I'm gonna just hop in the Rolls Royce, back it out, and then we won't have any echo. So here we go, hangar door going up. Okay, let's hop in here into the pristine interior. Unbelievable. You can't even hear it starting up. Very luxurious, you get what you pay for, and with an original window sticker of over $300,000, it's no wonder why this thing is so nice. And uh, no, don't think I'm just trying to flex on this Rolls Royce, no. I'm flexing on the fact that we bought this thing for under $80,000. That means we're gonna be making a killing on this car. We'll probably make 10, 15, $20,000 profit on this car after enjoying it for, I don't know, we'll keep it for a number of months, maybe a year, maybe more. I don't know, we really like it. Okay, perfect, set that up there, turn off the engine, boom, listen to that. You can't hear anything. There's cars driving by, you can't hear them. This, this may be the new filming studio, anyway. Today's video, you guys see the title, we're talking all about Tesla. The last uh, stock video we posted, the most recent upload, we talked all about just our, the EV stocks that are going crazy, that we have a pretty good sized position in. Whether it's options or just long-term shares that we have, we've been making a lot of money in these stocks. And primarily, the big winners lately have been Tesla and Workhorse. Of course, Workhorse has been going absolutely nuts lately. I have $30.60 close on the weekends. We'll see what happens next week, but it has just been going absolutely nuts lately. So these options that we got at strike prices in the low 20s or even the high teens, they've been making us an absolute killing. I actually just sold one of my Workhorse options last week, and I paid $300 for that option a few weeks ago, and I ended up selling it for $12 hundred dollars that's 4x 300 percent profit holy moly it goes to show the power of options getting the right ones but of course guys as i always say there is so much risk involved you have to be careful because you can lose all of your money a couple i think neo a couple neo options i bought uh, they were very cheap but they expired out of the money and you lose the entire cost that you paid for that contract, 100% of it. So you don't get any of it back if you're out of the money and you mess up on a on a call or a put if you go if it goes the wrong direction that you're not anticipating. So it, it is risky, but big risk, big reward. And we've been hitting some huge rewards lately. So just tread with caution. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor, so invest at your own risks. And these are strictly my opinions only that we will be discussing. So we talked about all the other big winners, workhorse, all that stuff last video. It's just interesting to see where it'll go from here in the next coming weeks. Uh, you know, will there be news of the contract, stuff like that. But today we're talking about Tesla. I can't go down the rabbit hole of the other ones too much. So I mentioned it last video. Uh, when Tesla absolutely got hammered that one day, lost like 22% and went all the way down to the lower 300s, I said, man, that, that that's a big drop. With battery day coming up, I think it's a great time to buy. And not only am I going to buy the long-term shares that we have, we already have those. We have well over 100 shares, like I mentioned last video. So those are like the long-term hold shares going for the long run and we're gonna keep them forever, long-term capital gains. But in this case, with battery day coming up and it at, it at such a low amount and with it losing 22% on the day, buying calls were really cheap. That day obviously the stock just went down a ton so the calls obviously dropped a lot as well so i said okay if i buy a call i can get it for way less it's super cheap today and with battery day coming up i can get something for a shorter expiration which are cheaper than getting something that expires months out the closer it is to expiration the cheaper it is or the lower cost it is so i said well i only need something that gets me to battery day because that's when everything's going to be going down there's going to be some crazy movement before that this is my logic buying it that day so two minutes before market close i bought this 330 and thirty dollar call option contract for $3,825. And when I uploaded the last video, I think it was up like two or $3,000 profit, which was a lot within just a few trading days. It immediately started to climb back up and thank goodness I didn't sell. I started looking at my option, I'm like, hmm, $2,000 profit, that sounds pretty good. $5,000 profit, that sounds really good. $7,000 profit, do I sell? I only paid $3,800 for this. So multiple times I'm like, do I sell? But going into it, I had a game plan of holding it to a uh, battery day. But right now it's looking like a really good move and hopefully when the market opens these last two days before battery day, it'll prove to be an even better move. So right now that call 
has me up a profit of $7,650. I paid $38.25 for it. But with battery day coming up, I think it's going to go higher. And now for everybody who always asks where these screenshots are coming from and which brokerage we use, Christian and I actually have a lot of different accounts. But the Tesla call, we actually got on TD Ameritrade, but we do actually most of our trading on Webull and Robinhood. And if you guys are interested in signing up with a brokerage, Webull always has the best sign up bonuses if you have an invite link from a friend. So I went ahead and dropped my link in the description below. So if you use that link, you will get at least, it's either, they, they change it. It's either one stock or two stocks. It depends when you get in on it, but you will be getting free stock 100% for free when you deposit $100 or more on the platform. So that's a great ROI right there. You may get a good stock valued up to like 1500 bucks. You may get lucky. Hit that link down below if you are looking to sign up and it helps me. I get free stock, you get free stock and it's a big win-win. There's a lot of good YouTube videos out there. People giving their price predictions for battery day. Some people are saying five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars Like some people have crazy, crazy uh, price predictions. So what is battery day? When is battery day? Let me give you a quick rundown of some things that, uh, some research that I pulled together. Like I always say, do your own research guys don't take my word for it this is some of the things that i've concluded from my research that i think is upcoming and rumors that i've heard and what i think is going to happen to the stock price given that some big news is going to go down at battery day so what is battery day well like it says in the name obviously there's going to be a lot of news going down regarding tesla's new battery technologies there's a lot of rumors going around but this is kind of what i've put together so i'm going to share you some thoughts now in addition it's going to be more than just batteries like tesla always has things up their sleeve. They're gonna probably announce other things not really related to batteries, but just related to Tesla and the well-being of things moving forward. So the fact that Elon's really hyping it up and they already postponed it once, meaning I feel like there's some technology in there that they wanted to really make sure was proven or something was going down that they wanted to push it back a little bit to make sure everything was gonna be good in time. Like. I feel like some monumental stuff is going down. A brand new battery technology is most likely coming on the horizon. This is gonna get kind of confusing and I just kind of geeked out about it so I wrote down a lot of notes. But it's gonna be a tablet's construction battery and it's gonna be featuring Maxwell dry cell design and high bar packaging filling. And that's gonna be a cell to pack design, no longer needing modules. Less parts, there's gonna be less cells because they are bigger and it will also have better heat dissipation. Think of it like wicking away the heat. So that'll lead to faster charging times and a much better battery it would be a 4x improvement over what they currently have and it's going to give the battery two times the amount of cycles that it currently has right now they're saying uh, the battery packs can go to 500,000 miles that's actually more than i thought that could be doubled into the glorious million mile battery pack which everyone has been talking about if they go out there and reveal a 1 million mile lifespan battery pack that's basically, that basically means you never have to change the battery in your Model 3. If you buy a Model 3 or whenever it comes out, whatever vehicles it rolls out on, it lasts the life of the car. That's huge because for, for many years, the big expense with EVs was, oh, you got to replace the battery pack. That's $15,000, you know, at 150,000 miles or whenever they go out on the early Model S's. But now if Tesla can say, oh, they last a lifetime in the car, a million miles, like you're good to go. And this new battery technology could make Tesla even more vertically integrated if they can rely on themselves for producing them instead of external suppliers. Right now, of course, they rely on a lot of external manufacturers for their batteries, for their ever-growing needs. But if they can start producing their own batteries in bigger quantities and these more efficient batteries, they'll be rocking and rolling. And like I said, with cost, the current cost for Tesla batteries is I think about $110 per kilowatt. So 74 uh, kilowatt battery pack times it by 110. What is that? Around $8,000. Uh, for the battery pack is their cost. But if they get those costs down to their target is like $100 or less per kilowatt, that would be huge because every dollar they save in batteries is either they can offer the cars for less, meaning more customers, or it's just a bigger profit margin for Tesla, which is good for shareholders. Now, what's interesting is they already have batteries in China being produced that are around $80 per kilowatt. So why are those so much less? It's because they're lithium iron phosphate batteries and they don't contain any expensive cobalt and nickel. So they have a little less battery density, but I guess it works for those applications in China and Asia. But hopefully here in the US with those battery packs, they're going to be saving money, which is going to be another game changer. This battery technology is going to help these Roadster numbers come true. I think they said a thousand range and everybody thought, well, how is that possible? It's impossible with current battery technology, but they were looking ahead at what they were doing now. And they may say with this battery technology, yes, we can get a Roadster to a thousand mile range. Well, they're going to be in extremely high demand if they're rolling out these new batteries. It's not like come Tuesday, all the Teslas rolling off the line are going to come with these tabless dry cell batteries, like right off the bat. 
No way, Jose. They're already bursting at the seams trying to get all the batteries Tesla can get their hands on. There's no way they can produce enough of these new batteries uh, in the near future. It's, it's going to be down the line. My guess is they're going to do their, what they've always done, you know, starting with expensive cars and working their way down. I think the batteries are going to find themselves in the expensive cars and then work their way down. So it's going to start in the Tesla Roadster. It's the most expensive car, quarter of a million dollars. That's where I think this technology is going to start. That and like the Cybertruck or maybe the Plaid Model S, things like that. And then I think eventually it'll work its way down to Model 3, but they're already selling so many Model 3s. They're producing them like crazy. Uh, I, I can't imagine the new technology immediately being incorporated in with that. So it's not like it's it's all going to change this week. Um, I think it's definitely still a long-term play. It's just this news is going to affect a lot of things moving forward. And of course, it's going to affect the stock price in the near future. So what is going to happen to the stock price? What do I think is going to happen? Well, I could easily see it going right up toward where it was previously at, at an all-time high in the low 500s. That's like, definitely think it can do that. But will Tesla set a new all-time high? that's where I don't know definitely at some point I don't know if it'll be this week because I think once it shoots up with battery day obviously a lot of people are gonna be taking in their profits and may come down a little bit in price eventually I mean just the long-term play is a no-brainer for Tesla with everything they have going on it is so exciting so obviously long-term game you're even probably still safe getting in now you know people always ask oh is it too late to get into Tesla well sure it's it's a really high up there but who says it can't go higher you know people said it was too expensive when it was at five hundred dollars pre five to one split. So who really knows at this point with all the hype backing it, with all the retail investors, all the people on Robinhood, all the 18 year olds trading stocks for the first time, there's a lot of money being pumped into Tesla and with what they're able to do with it, obviously some exciting things are coming. Will the little swing trade for this week make a big return for you? I don't know. If it goes to 600 bucks a share, that's plus 150 from where it's at right now. That that That's a lot. That's a lot. And some people are saying 600 is definitely doable. I don't know. I am confident it's going to go in the low 500s, which, which is going to bump it up another $50 from where it's currently at, which will help my option. Oh my goodness. Probably give me another $5,000 profit. Everything over the strike price of $330. Again, I have a hundred shares. It gives you the right to buy a hundred shares in one contract. I bought one contract. So I'm playing with a hundred shares at this point. So everything over the strike price of 330 is just gravy. So when it goes up another 10 bucks, boom, fantastic. My option's probably worth like $1,000 more now. If it goes up 50 bucks, boom, even bigger home run. It's a grand slam at this point. So I'd be happy if I see the low 500s. Now, what if what if it goes over 500 tomorrow, Monday, pre-battery day? Will I sell? Oh boy, I don't think so. My target is to sell most likely the day after battery day. That's when I think the stock is going to be the highest. Everyone hears the news, you know, and into the evening on Tuesday after the markets have closed, battery day happens, great news happens, all the news publications start putting out their press about what went down and everybody starts hearing about it. I'm guessing a lot of people will be hyped up, you know, want to get into Tesla because they're confident where it's going in the future and the next day they're going to buy in and it's going to send the stock price up. That is my opinion. Low 500s, very confident. Mid 500s, I can see it. Over 600, I think a slimmer chance, but I would love to see that because that means my option would be worth an outrageous amount of money. I can't even imagine to think to make ten, twenty thousand dollars profit on something that I bought for three thousand eight hundred dollars would be um, insane. So I hope I can nail this option just right. I'll keep you guys posted. Follow the Instagram at Team JR Business so you guys can see you know up to date uh, trades and what we're doing. And I'll probably post when I actually sell the option and post my total profit at the end of the day. But I'm hoping for at least that five hundred. That's my goal, and uh, we really hope they do big things because this is really changing the future. That's the thing. They're not just a car company. They have so much behind the scenes going on and so much technology in, in the cars that it's it's much more than that. They're going to be an energy company soon. I can't wait for the day when you are able to have your solar panels on your roof, your Tesla roof, and it's able to produce a excess of energy that you don't need. And you can take that energy and put it into your thousand mile battery pack. You can load it up into there and then you can take it to a supercharger and dump it and like sell that energy for like credits or something and then use it when you need it. And when you have the excess, you put it back into the system and just like, there's going to be things like that that'll just blow everyone's mind. The full self-driving, the robo taxis that people are thinking Elon's going to be hinting at, at battery day, you know, who knows what's going to happen, but it's definitely very bright for Tesla and that's why we're very, very bullish on the stock. And hey, maybe if I'm lucky, Elon will share some news on the new 2020 Roadster. As you guys know, Christian and I will be getting one. We are so looking forward to that and sharing it with you all on the YouTube channel, JR Garage. It would be really cool if we get some Roadster news. So 
We shall see. I can't wait. I'll be watching live. Stay tuned to the channel and the Instagram for updates. Be sure to comment down below. What is your target price for Tesla? Where do you think it's going to be at the day after battery day or the week after battery day? What do you think is going to happen over these next couple months with Tesla stocks? I'm very curious and comment any other stock positions you guys have, especially if it's in the EV space or tech space. I'd love to hear it. Thank you all for watching. You guys rock. I'm going to go post this video on time and <laughs> let the games begin tomorrow morning. Enjoy. See you guys.